today is Adibas day means day prayer to the function. Tomorrow, Navadip Damparikrama will start in Navadip. But we are doing by the book. So yesterday we heard two chapters, today third and fourth, and then tomorrow Parikrama will start. Jai Jai Navadip Chandra Shochi Suta. Jai Jai Nitananda Rai Avadhuta. Jai Jai Shri Advaita Prabhu Mahashoy. Gadadar Shri Vaspandit. Joy Joy. Jai Jai Navadipadham Sarvadharma Sar. Jai Dam Soho Gaura Chandra Avatar. All glories, all glories to Shri Sachinandan, the moon of Shri Navadip. All glories, all glories to Shri Nitananda Prabhu, the Avadhut. All glories, all glories to Shri Advaita Acharya. All glories, all glories to Shri Gadadhar Pandit and Shri Vas Pandit. All glories, all glories to the holiest of all holy abodes, Shri Navadip Dham. Shri Gaura Chandra descended together with this Dham. O oh, devotees, I will now describe the different places within the 16 koshas of Navadip. All of you should listen. 16 rivers are situated eternally in the 16 koshas of Shri Navadip Dham. Four dvipas or islands exist eternally on Ganga's eastern bank and on her western bank are five islands. Swarduni means Bhagavati, Bhagirati, Gonga flows encircling all these islands, thus eternally increasing the splendor of Sri Navadip Dham. The original Ganga Devi always flows through the center of Navadip Dham and many other rivers who purify the world flow here and there throughout Sri Navadip Dham. Beautiful Sri Jamuna Maharani flows with Bhagavati Bhagirati Ganga next to the western bank and the presiding goddess of learning Saraswati flows within another stream. In the eastern part of the Jamuna, the strong and swift rivers Tamraparni, Kritamala and Brahmaputra flow. Brahmaputra also flows by Gualpara Dham, the birthplace of our Gurudev, Brahmaputra. Gurudev used to do childhood pastimes in her waters, Brahmaputra. Sarayu, uh, Sarayu, Narmada, Sindhu, Kaveri, Gomati and other holy rivers who purify this world flow with mighty speed together with Sri Godavari. As separate currents, these rivers divide Sri Navadip into nine parts. According to the Lord's desire, these rivers sometimes dry out and then again become filled with water. According to the Lord's desire, a place will sometimes become immersed in water and then again give darshan. Although the Dham continuously performs pastimes in this way, it is always manifest for the most fortunate person, means devotees, they can see with devotional eyes. The devotee who has a strong desire within the heart to behold these rivers will attain darshan of all the islands and rivers. This kind of devotee will sometimes attain, by the help of his devotion, a vision of the dham in dreams, sometimes in meditation and sometimes even directly with his eyes. All these three ways it is possible to get revelation transcendental. Direct, 
when doing bhajan or in dream. All holy scriptures call the island formed at the confluence of the river Ganga and Jamuna Antardvip. Sriman Mahaprabhu took birth in Mayapur, Jogapit, in the center of Antardvip. Gokul Mahavan in Goloka corresponds with Mayapur in Sri Navadip Dham. Shvetadvip, Baikunta, Goloka, and Sri Brindaban are always splendidly situated in Sri Navadip Dham. According to Sriman Mahaprabhu's arrangement, the seven holy cities, Ayodhya, Mathura, Maya or Haridwar, Kashi, Kanchi, Avanti and Dwaraka are eternally situated in their respective places in Sri Navadip Dham. The city Maya or Haridwar at Gangadwar is situated in its actual form in Mayapur. The excellence of this place is described repeatedly throughout the scriptures. Haridwar is that Gangadwar. Ganga is coming from Go, Gomatra. Then when coming down from Himalaya, that is Haridwar. One who even once visits Mayapur, the residence of all sacred places, easily crosses the material realm. One who wanders throughout Mayapur becomes freed from the control of the illusory energy and from taking birth in this material world again. Simanta Dvip is situated to the north of Sri Mayapur. With regard to the procedure of Parikrama of Navadip, saints and holy scriptures consistently state, O learned devotees, please proceed to Sri Simanta Dvip after visiting Antardip Sri Mayapur. It is, I heard some devotees they say parikram we will go on parikram but that is not proper pronunciation it is parikrama that a at the end is long one and you will find i searched shila ac bhaktan sai maharaj his recordings he is also saying as it should be said parikrama not Parikram, but Parikrama, Shri Navadidham Parikrama, Tulsi Parikrama, Mandir Parikrama, in this way. So first Mayapur, Antardip, then you have to go Simantadip. That is why in Jayadwani we have like this, Jay Antardip, Shri Mayapur. Simantadip, Godrundip, Madhyadip, Koladip, Ritudip, Jamnadip, Madhani Prutradip, Shri Navadip Dham 9. In this sequence, one has to do Parikrama. Because first, Antardip is Atmanivedanam devotion. All these nine islands, they represent one type of devotion. But first, one has to surrender. Otherwise, other forms of devotion will not be Bhakti. So first, Antardip Atmanivedanam. Then, Shravanam Kirtanam. Smaranam on this. Pralad Maharaj said in Bhagavatam, Iti Pungsharpita, one who is surrendered to Vishnu, if he does this. Nine forums, that is the best knowledge. After visiting Simanta Dvip, take darshan of the island named Godrum, situated south of Mayapur. Then, blissfully go to Madhyadip. These four islands 
Antardip, Simantadip, Godrundip, and Madadip are situated on, situated on the river Janavis eastern bank. After taking darshan of them, reverentially cross the river Janavi Ganga. Here it is explained by taking Achaman and bathing in her waters and then glorifying her with the prayer. Only by your mercy is it possible to attain darshan of the dham. So some devotees like Pundarik Bidanidi, they did not enter into Ganga inside to take bath, but only bow down uh, and took some water on their head. Then, so, reverentially we should cross, because Ganga is sacred. So first we have to bow down and pray for her grace, then we can cross. Then, take darshan of the other five islands. Koladvip, Ritudip, Jannudvip, Modadrundvip, and Rudradvip. That is before I said go, that is Gangotri, where Ganga is coming out. One is Jamunotri, one is Gangotri, or Gomukha, in Himalaya. Then, when coming down to the, from Himalaya, then that is Ganga Dwar, or Haridwar, the door of Gangotri is the place. So, first this side, eastern side, then crossing Ganga reverentially and another five on that side. But now Rudra Deep is also on east side. Because Ganga changed her route. Effortlessly walk around Kola Deep and then behold the splendor of Ritu Deep. O best of scholars, afterwards proceed to the supremely beautiful Jannudvip and then continue to Modadrundvip. After visiting Modadrundvip, take darshan of Rudradip, then again cross the Ganga and walk to Mayapur. See, Rudradip before was on that side, but nowadays it is on this side. But our Mats Parikrama, it will go in this sequence. And on the last day, we also go to Rudradip, but from this side, not crossing Ganga, because now it is on this side. In Mayapur, respectfully enter Jagannath Mishra and Mother Sachi's temple, Jogapit, to take darshan of Mahaprabhu. This is always the procedure for performing the 16 koshas Navadibdham Parikrama. This Parikrama is the abode for the jivas to attain unlimited happiness. According to the opinion of all devotees, the best time for performing Parikrama is from Makari Saptumi, Saptami to Falgun Purnima. Falgun Purnima is Gaur Purnima, appearance day of Mahaprabhu. That is why we are starting Parikrama now, so that we will finish on Purnima. Means one day before Purnima. We finish because Gaur Purnima is a big festival. One who, after completing the Parikrama of Sri Navadip Dham, takes darshan of Mayapur on Sri Gaur Purnima, will attain qualification for bhakti through the mercy of the shade of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda's divine feet. In this chapter, I have in brief presented a description of the Parikrama of Sri Navadip Dham. Now, in the following chapters, I will describe it in detail. Please listen attentively. One who performs Parikrama of the 168 miles of Shri Gauramandal 
quickly obtains the treasure of Gaur Prema. Gaur Mandar means whole that Bengal, where many Mahaprabhu associates they appeared. And part of Gaur Mandar is Navadip Dham. The Navadip Dham. But here it is written, there is Parikram also. Some our devotees, they, they do like Shantipur and that, uh, I forgot the argument, and that's Goswami. Means many associates of Mahaprabhu where they appeared. Devotees they do, and in Bangladesh also, that is also. So some devotees they do. Bhakti Binot, whose only desire is to attain the cooling shade of the lotus feet of Sri Nitananda Prabhu and Sri Janna Devi, reveals this truth. Chapter 4 All glories, all glories to Sri Sachinandan, the moon of Navadip. All glories, all glories to Sri Nitananda Prabhu, the Avadhut. All glories, all glories to the essence of all holy abodes, Sri Navadip Dham, where Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has descended. O oh brother, the result one obtains by residing at any other holy, at any of the other holy places for many days, will be received by residing for only one day in Sri Navadip. Listen, O saintly persons, as I sing the description found in the scriptures of the Parikrama of this Sri Navadip Dham. The message of the holy scriptures, the words of the Vaishnavas, and the order of Sriman Mahaprabhu, these three are the treasures of my life. Taking shelter of these three, I will describe the procedure of Sri Navadip Parikrama. All of you, please listen. When Sri Jiva Goswami gave up his home, he called out, Nodia, Nodia, that is Navadip, with an anxious heart. For the entire journey from his place of residence, Chandradvip, to Sri Navadip Dham, streams of tears flowed from his eyes. While crying, he called out with a loud voice, O life of the living entities, O Sri Gaurango, O Nitananda Prabhu, when will you bestow your mercy upon me and give me your darshan? Alas, alas, O Sri Navadip Dham, the essence of all holy abodes, when will I receive your darshan? Repeatedly crying out like this, he continued on his way. Like uh, that is Katwa also and Kulin Gram. All these are in Gaura Mandal places where Mahaprabhu is associated. Like Eka Chakra, all this. And where Raguna Das Gusami appeared and the others. Sri Jiva Gosami's unprecedented beauty was due to his youthfulness his handsome, well-built body, and his extreme renunciation. As you know, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Ramkeli village, he blessed Rupa and Sanatan, and they eventually renounced their household life and went to Vrindavan. At that time, Jiva Gosami, although he had so much wealth and palace and everything, but he was not interested. He had no interest in these worldly things, 
only he was interested in Baden. So he also eventually renounced. And first he came here, and now it will be described. After many days of walking, Sri Jiva Gosami reached Sri Navadip Dham. His heart was always overwhelmed with feelings of prema. Seeing Sri Navadip Dham from a distance, he offered his obeisances and became unconscious. After some time, he calmed down with the hairs on his body standing on end, he entered Sri Navadip Dham. Upon arriving at Barakona Ghat, he inquired from everyone, where is Sri Nitananda Prabhu? Please show me. Barakona Ghat is where Mahaprabhu used to take bath also. And debating with that uh, Digbijay Pandit. Barakona Ghat. We will, in Parikrama, you go there. Now it is not visible to our eyes, but it is indicated, mentioned. Seeing Sri Jiva Gosami immersed in deep ecstasy, a virtuous man took him to where Sri Nitananda Prabhu was staying. Sri Nitananda Prabhu knew in his heart that Sri Jiva was coming to see him right then. Extremely blissful, he laughed loudly. Sri Nitananda Prabhu ordered his servants to search for Sri Jiva and bring him near to him. Many Vaishnavas went here and there, searching and calling out for Sri Jiva. When they saw Sri Jiva Gosami's body decorated with divine ecstatic symptoms, they could understand that this was, without a doubt, Jiva Gosami. Someone came forward and with great prema told Jiva about Sri Nitananda Prabhu's order. Upon hearing the name of Sri Nitananda Prabhu, Sri Jiva became unconscious and fell to the ground. After some time, Sri Jiva got up and said, I am most fortunate. Even such a wretched person as me has received the mercy of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. With a joyful heart, Sri Jiva Gosami offered his prostrated obeisances to all those Vaishnavas and prayed. If all of you bestow your mercy upon a person like me, then I can also attain the lotus feet of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. All the Shastras proclaim this. By the associates of Nityananda Prabhu, we can come to him. Like associates of Krishna, in that way we can come, not directly. Seeing the great fortune of Sri Jiva Gosami, some of the Vaishnavas took the dust of his feet and observed the festival. In other words, with delighted hearts, they smeared that dust over their bodies. They all took Jiva Gosami to Sri Nitananda Prabhu, who was from time to time singing the pastimes of Sri Krishna in the midst of many Vaishnavas. Upon seeing the transcendental form of Sri Nitananda Prabhu, Extraordinary transcendental emotions arose in the body of Jiva Gosami. Ah, what an unprecedented beauty I behold today. <laughs> Exclaiming like this, Sri Jiva fell to the ground unconscious. Sri Nitananda Prabhu, who is supremely compassionate, lifted Jiva up and accepted him as his own associate. Sri Jiva Gosami, overcome with emotion, stood up with folded hands and began to speak to Sri Nityananda Prabhu. 
O oh Lord, you are the form of the universe, the abode of the universe, and directly Sri Balaram. What do I know of your noble virtues? Virtues. You are my eternal master and I am your eternal servant. My only longing is to attain shelter at your lotus feet. One who receives your mercy can easily attain Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet and become immersed in nectar like Prema. Even if someone worships Sri Gaurango in his heart for hundreds of birds, without your mercy, he will not be able to attain Sriman Mahaprabhu. If Sri Gaurahari wishes to punish someone, you can protect him. But if you punish someone, Sriman Mahaprabhu will never protect that person. Therefore, O Lord, on the strength of my pious credits, I have received shelter at your lotus feet. Please give me your